Hey guys, what is up? Zane here, and welcome to another video. And in today's video, I will be having all of my story times from episode 1 to 13 in this video. So, if you guys have not watched all of my episodes, this is a good way of watching it. This is going to be a full compilation of every single story time I've done. So, I hope you guys do enjoy. And this is my little gift to you all to celebrate February, the month of... What is it? I, I don't even know what it is. <laughs> the month of love, the uh, history month, I... Uh, uh, I really don't know, but uh, regardless, all jokes aside, enjoy, get your popcorn, get your hot Cheetos, and enjoy, you mad lads. Hey guys, what is up, Zane here, and welcome to another video, and in today's video, we will be doing another story time. So, in today's story time, we are just going to be talking about the worst teacher that I've ever had, and I've had a fair share of terrible teachers, but this one is on a whole nother level so if anyone's trying to vouch for this teacher just just stop just honestly just stop okay <laughs> because you know there's dumb people out there who vouch for dumb people you know it's like see a karen like then you have a kevin vouching for that's karen so uh, kevin means they're dumber just like the karen and they don't speak logically but um anyways this story is going to be about the worst teacher that I've ever had. And actually, I still have this teacher right now. And I'm not going to say his name because, you know, I'm a lot nicer than I should be at times to keep it above 50. Like, you know, I need to be a lot more vile. But um, I actually will be um, getting in contact with some people who are of... A higher authority and they can assess the situation as well so I'm not just gonna say the story and then do nothing about it because that's not the kind of person I am but um, anyways I'm gonna be talking about this teacher and this teacher at absolutely sucks and the classes he teaches is bio so uh, let's get into to the teacher so to start it off he was uh, teaching us about like living things and like parasites and whatnot but let me focus on parasites in particular he said that like students are like parasites or like you know like saying for you to your parents you're like parasites and i need to be above 50 i didn't ask to be born did i huh did i ask to be born did i literally ask for that <laughs> no i didn't ask to be born okay and I mean that in the least depressing way possible, but it, literally, I didn't ask to be born. I didn't ask to be born into this world, you know? I did it. <laughs> I genuinely didn't, so. There's strike one right there, especially for saying that about his students. You just don't say that. You just don't say that in general. You don't, and I, I don't care if you're nice all the time, but if it was joking, that's okay. But he wasn't joking. He didn't have any direction towards joking if anyone's trying to vouch for him, you know? Because there are dumb people like that. But uh, he wasn't joking at all when he said it. He wasn't doing anything like that. And it just frustrated me, to be honest. And uh, yeah, the thing is, too, I didn't, you know, speak out against him in class either. Because, like, if I do that, then I'm going to get in trouble for just, you know, speaking up for myself. But, you know, that's basically how school is. You got a bad teacher, you just got to suck it up. And until you can get in contact with those people who can deal with them for you because you try to go and tell them up front that's not the best way of doing it i'm gonna be honest it's really not but if you go tell the people who the staff aka manager as uh some people would say you can get in contact and then you can get that person fired aka assess the situation and yeah so he he did that that's strike one strike two we had finals and that's not my problem is that we had finals the problem is he gave us finals and oh my gosh he, he didn't even give us a study guide a review guide nothing to go over he's like go through your older assignments and just basically yeah just just memorize it yeah and oh my gosh that that right there made me livid because he's basically saying what you had to do 
to fail, which in my eyes, not an ideal way of teaching. And also it, your finals, if a majority of the class fails, it shows um, the kind of teacher you are. And I'm pretty sure the higher authorities are gonna get suspicious of that. So yeah, here's strike three. Here's what he said at the start of the semester. He's like, if you do your work, you're not gonna fail. It's an easy class. That's what he said, word for word, right? It, it's not. It's, it has made me have so much stress and it's just a terrible class, to be honest. But, uh, so let's get back into the finals and then I'll get into that and I will talk about it a little bit more. But for finals to what he did, he literally basically said, just go over previous assignments when he didn't just give us a review. A review would make so much more sense because like, it's like, just study this, go over this, and then you're going to pass the final. Like, I didn't care if it had 50 words on it. 50 words, 100. I could study it. I, I wouldn't be mad about that. But he didn't give us anything. He's like, go based off your previous assignments. I'm not going to be doing that. Are you high? Like, are you literally high? There's no way I'm doing that. And even if I did, I would still fail. Because <laughs> your brain can't remember all that. Like, what the? <laughs> And it's not like they were like, you know, they were like all separate assignments. So it's like some of them were notes, some of them were study guides, some of them were. And you know what he said too? Don't don't use the study guides either. So it's like, don't. What's the test over? You know? And he's like, go over your notes. And I'm like, oh okay, got it. Got all my notes. All right, and none of it. I honestly just wanted to review. <laughs> a review packet would have been a lot more authentic and it would have made it more a lot more sense and it would have caused less stress because I'll get into that too after this but um yeah I'll get into the stress segment as the fourth point to be honest but uh, the third point as I said he said it was going to be an easy class when it wasn't it was the hardest class I've ever taken it's harder than learning a new language a new language like what like the new language was like okay that was reasonable it's like you know go over all this and then you'll pass you know basically you do the work you're gonna pass i did the work in this class and still failed so yeah this this class just sucked we didn't get a study guide. We didn't get a review guide. And here's another part, too. There was not even a textbook to go over anything. So, yeah. He's like, use the book. <laughs> didn't even give us a page to go in the book, either. Even if it was online. They didn't get a page. So, yeah. It's just, it sucks. It, this teacher sucked and he was one of the worst teachers that I've ever had. And the thing is, he's a pretty cool dude, you know? But um, even though he is, he has definitely said a lot of ignorant things. He has even called his students sheep at one point. So uh, yeah, it's not something you wanna say. It's like, hmm, I wanna get fired this year. That's essentially what he was saying. And he also said that he really likes teaching when, um, if you really like teaching, buddy, and you could have gotten any other job, which is what he stated, why would you call your students sheep? Why would you also say about your students that they're leeches? It's just, who, who are you trying to fool? You know what I'm saying? Like, you probably just work that to get the money. And then also uh, the final statement, which was the third statement that I was going to say. And then I'll get into the stress and whatnot, which won't really be a fourth statement. That'll just be a separate thing entirely. And it will be kind of a statement about his class. But the third statement is going to be about just do the work and you'll pass. Which, you know, that wasn't the case at all because I did the work, didn't pass. And I was really focused on that class. I gave it my all and it was harder than any other classes that I had, meaning English, math, etc. And basically just the basic classes that you need. And it just sucked, honestly. In all of his assignments, he didn't do it himself. So he basically just 
you know, essentially just found worksheets online, which, you know, if this new law goes into place, he tries doing that again, or any teachers, y'all gonna be getting fined, so. AKA jail time. Um, yeah, this, this teacher just sucked, honestly. He was one of the worst teachers. And then the fourth thing I wanna get into, which is a little bit of the thing relating to the class, a major thing, but it's also been like this whole situation in the world right now, but, um, I want to get into stress, and I have had, like, three mental breakdowns in this class because, you know, being basically dumber than anyone else in the class, being sl not dumber, I wouldn't say dumber, that's not the word that I was looking for, and that's a derogatory term, and that doesn't assess the situation completely. It was rather slower, a slower than any other of the students in the class, and that just got to me, and that's why I had a mental breakdown three times. And I've had a panic attack 35 times in that classroom. And that's me being nice. So, yeah, essentially I've had one like every single day in the class. But, yeah, just, I just hated the class. I'm just going to keep it above 50. I hated it. And then also, the thing that he did too, he gave us like 15 quizzes in a week to do. Or it was like, oh wait, no, sorry, it wasn't 15, my bad. It, that's what he goes up to. Goes into like unit 15, but it, it was like eight quizzes that we had to do in a week, and that and it and in and of itself is stressful. Essentially, what he's saying is, you gotta cheat my class because if you literally took the time out of your day to do any of his assignments legitimately, you would fail, or you would not fail, but you would have. Panic attack after panic attack meant no, I want I mean I still had panic attack, so that doesn't really make sense. But you would have mental breakdowns like every single day in that class. So that class was just really stressful and it's one of the worst classes I've ever taken. And if anything, screw bio, I honestly am never doing anything relating towards it again. And it was a waste of time. And I will be taking another class that's like that and it's gonna be a lot better, so that's gonna be nice. But, uh, yeah, that's, that class just caused so much stress for me, and it just really sucked. Honestly, I got everything that I needed to out in this video, and I even talked about the teacher, because this teacher absolutely sucked, and I'll just call him Mr. Suck, because that's what his name is. That's what I'm gonna be calling him, because that's what he is, dude. Like, if you're gonna give somebody a final, and you want us to actually pass your final, and you want us to do really good, give us a review packet or something that's like the final or relating towards the final. And then some of it's like, you know, through, throughout the school year. Doesn't that make so much more sense? Oh my gosh, it's like, oh, it's an obscure concept for this retarded teacher. Oh, honestly, I don't even say that about people, but gosh, dang this teacher, dude. Honestly, hope you guys, I hope you guys did enjoy. It will be another story time. Now, in today's story time, it's going to get a little bit emotional again. But this is going to be leading into my COVID video a little bit. But this video is a completely separate entity from that. But it is going to relate to it a little bit. And that is going to be with mental health. But anyways, let's get into this. So, in today's story, I want to talk about... My inspiration, actually. And in this story time, I'm going to talk about my inspiration. So my inspiration is Desmond. And if you guys haven't already, please go watch my tribute video to Desmond. And the that video was just in case if, you know, say something happens. Say if I pass away somehow. Like, meaning, like, you know, some, some terrible accident. That's the only way that'll happen. Like, n no. <laughs> like... If I somehow managed to get run over by a helicopter one day, you know, that's what happened. And then I'm the, that doesn't make sense. Just got ran over by a helicopter because helicopters, you know, they can drive on the road. That makes sense to me. But um, no, all jokes aside, this video is going to be a little bit serious, but not too serious because, you know, I can't be 100% serious a lot of the time. But um, except for when I do a video in the future. 
but uh, if I manage to get that far in the future on, on YouTube, who knows? Honestly, don't know right now. I'm still a small channel. Um, <clears throat> anyways, I got so off topic, but um, this video is going to be about my inspiration, and that is going to be Desmond. Now, I'm bringing up Desmond for this story time, so I had this shirt, and this shirt was about Desmond, and it was Joy-Con Boys. It was literally, like, my favorite shirt that I've ever gotten, and I wore it to uh, school one day, right? And, oh my gosh, that was, that was a nightmare. I got called every single name in the book. Every single name. The only person who, you know, was jealous of it, of course, or was one of my friends. And me and him were really close, and we're still really close to this day. So, you know, just because you get older doesn't mean that, you know, you're going to stray away from your friends. If you do that, then you got to kind of get your life a little bit in check. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you don't spend any time with your friends. Now, I get it. You you have other stuff you got to do. <clears throat> and I don't I don't really want to get demonetized on this video. So, I, I can't really say what that is. But, um, all jokes aside, <clears throat> for real, though, I got, like, called every single name in the book wearing that shirt. And... At that time, too, I was just, you know, really depressed and whatnot. And honestly, I just didn't want to live. And it was just because, you know, being bullied every single day really gets to your mental health. And it just, you know, makes you not want to live. And I'm not going to be getting really emotional in this video, but bullying really does have an impact on your life. And I got bullied hardcore when I was younger, which honestly really messed with me. Like... I know there's people who say, oh, don't, you have the power to control your emotions. And that, that really is true at times. But if you're saying that, like, you have the power to control certain stuff, like, that you had when you were younger. Like, for example, like, my social skills. My social skills, like, I mean, I'm more of, like, a person, you know, like, I talk to you for a while. And we start to build a bond. And then once we start getting a little bit closer, then I start to open up a lot more, you know. Like a normal person. No, that's honestly just me. I'm like, um, I'm like another YouTuber like that, you know. Same type of ordeal. But, um, anyways. I, <clears throat> I got bullied hardcore that day. And not only that day, but even though I did and all that. And I got called, as I said, every name in the book. And that really got to me because, you know, I got really, I got bullied one like really bad before and then I remember this one time in particular that one person who I said double crossed me who was one of my friends him and then his other friend and I think it was like everybody at the table they just made fun of me the entire like everyone at the lunch table and that really got to me too and I remember when I got home oh gosh that I don't really want to say what I did, but let's just say it wasn't a pleasant sight. I just tried to take my life many times. But regardless of how many times I've tried, it was to no prevail. And it was a great thing that I didn't take it into extreme measures, meaning like of taking my life because, you know, there was hope. And I'm glad that I had hope back then because, well, I mean, I have it now. But back then it was more than ever. And that was because of Desmond. Desmond was literally the light in my day. No, regardless of how I felt that day, regardless if I was picked on, regardless of if I was just bullied to the brink to where I was one step closer to the edge little pun intended right there by the way like a park <clears throat> but um no for real <clears throat> regardless of however i felt and regardless of how badly i wanted to take my life regardless of all of that and everything against me and i felt like the world hated me desmond really made my day honestly he was the reason why i kept holding on and I'm glad I did. I am so glad I did because I have so much, so many things that I was able to do. 
and that I'm still doing to this day and further goals that I want to achieve like I'm gonna be real here I bet no no one in this no one who has watched my streams or seen anything about me they would not know this or even assume this about me but I've actually done a 20 mile run and that is my well actually 23 mile that's my farthest run but um yeah I essentially did a marathon and that's my uh, farthest run so far yeah, I bet, bet you guys didn't know that about me I did that and sure it was oh and I even did it recently that was that was a nightmare do not do those long runs during the winter when uh, yeah I just got the flu immediately after and I got a flu shot the week before so that that didn't really make sense for the flu shot that didn't really work at all <laughs> I mean cuz you know they inject you with the flu it's like here you go you want the flu here you go here's your flu shot nice now you had the flu all right be ready to be sick <laughs> no but um yeah i'm just all jokes aside and whatnot and i'm just trying to ease the tension a little bit but this video is to thank desmond honestly i could not have gotten as far as i am in life right now without desmond and i truly mean that of course i had those around me who helped and were like a staple for me to, to keep going but just all the pressure everything honestly everything back then and the choices that i had to make of like choosing and whatnot and i'm not gonna get into that because if i get into that then i just i just really can't i'll get into that if i get that far on youtube because i don't want to open up too much on youtube right now you know what i'm saying it's more of a little i think it's more of like an awakening thing like you know it's like the oh just a little bit more about me you know i feel like that's a great way of saying it but um i've rambled on long enough but um regardless the reason why i'm making this video is because i remembered last year or like not last year not literally last year but it was a few years ago and i opened up one of my presents and i got a Desmond shirt and that meant so much to me and you know that was not I think it was like a few weeks after that and then I got bullied hardcore for wearing it one day like I I honestly got bullied more than people do who wear glasses like gosh but um even though I did and all, all that I didn't throw the shirt away I didn't do anything like that what I did was I cried like a baby dude I'm not even gonna lie <laughs> but no for real though uh, I did watch Desmond and I watch his streams and honestly just keeping it real with you guys Desmond was the pinnacle for me and that's all this video was to really say and I'm thankful that that he was here because of the impact he had on my life and it's crazy that people who you can admire they can impact your life so much but at the same time they still can pass away by their own hands or choices rather honestly it's just crazy to think about but um i don't want this video to get too deep for right now but uh thank you desmond daniel mofa If I could see you now, I would tell you to keep going because of what you truly meant to me. You were like the light at the end of the tunnel. You were the light in the tunnel. You were just the light in general. Not light Yagami. Don't 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 think that. <laughs> don't think that. It's not light Yagami, no worries. But uh yeah, all jokes aside. Until next time, as usual, have yourselves a damn good one. And please go check out that video, that tribute that I made for Desmond. It is to hold you guys over until the project's done. But it is also because I made it just in case, just, just in case something happens to where I can't continue the project anymore. Meaning death or a passing, 
May no, I, I wouldn't say a passing, like me literally passing, like by an illness or something crazy. The only way the project will not be done or finalized is if I am gone. Like, I am literally gone from this world, which would only be by two causes. An illness, or natural causes, or I get ran over by a helicopter. <laughs> I don't know. I really don't know at this point. Okay, I've rambled on long enough, and later. Welcome to another video, and in today's video, I will be talking about my friend who double-crossed me. And before I get into this, I want to talk about this Discord. Now, this Discord is for small content creators who support and encourage each other and, like, help each other. And they can even give each other tips on YouTube. And you can even get some advice to help grow your channel. Now, this isn't for some people who are egotistical. Like, um, I have a great example. This isn't for people like Figsu, who basically just join it so that they mooching off of someone's fame or something like that that's not what this discord is this is just to help encourage each other and you know help each other grow and some tips that you can give each other so that's what this discord's for and if you are interested and if you are a content creator you can get into the discord as well because honestly it's just you know just to help each other and anyways Let's get straight into the story time. So, let's get on with the story. And for this story, I'm going to be talking about the time my friend double-crossed me. And I know I already said that, but I just had to put some emphasis on that. And honestly, when my friend did do this, I just didn't talk to him for a while because, you know, he deserved it for absolutely destroying my trust. But before we get into this and how my friend betrayed my trust, I had to get into this person. Now... If anyone's gonna try and vouch for this guy, as I said, you know, there's just, I've even said this in previous videos, there's just dumb people vouching for dumb people, and they're like Karens and Kevins, but for real though, this, this dude would not get off of my, dude, I'm not even gonna lie, I didn't have any personal space when I was trying to talk to him, you know, I'm like, I remember this one time in particular, I was playing Die Rise, and I was going for round 100, and luckily I didn't end my game to go join him, but, um, yeah, I was just playing my game, and I was on, like, round 60 or something, and he messaged me, and he's like, hey, man, can you join me? I'm like, no, I'm just gonna be getting this round 100 real quick, it'll be this game, and he was an absolute arse, he's like, you're not gonna get at that game, just get off of the game, and join me, now, now, and he would do this on multiple occasions, and honestly, he was just really clingy. Not the kind of person who you want to talk to because if he's like that, you know, he has no life outside of his own. He doesn't have any goals, ambitions, anything that he wants to achieve with his life. So that, that was strike one. But strike two was, you know, the part where he was really clingy because, you know, let me know that kind of person he was. And lo and behold, I would find out he's even more clingy later on. <clears throat> But yeah, he was just really clingy. He was just gave me no personal space. That was my problem. It's not the clingy thing that was my problem. It was the part that he never gave me personal space. And like, he wouldn't do in things independently. He would always rely on me like every single second, like every day. Like, as I said, no independence whatsoever. But um, yeah, that that's basically summarizing Jeff. So that's what Jeff is. This is the clingy guy. Now, I'm going to be getting into the time when I'm talking with my friend now. So, I'm going to have to do a little time skip because I just basically just summed up the Jeff guy and how he was so clingy and how he just never gave me personal space. But let's get into this. So, I was just in Xbox Live party with him, with me and my friend. And we were just chilling, you know. We were just playing zombies. We were doing good, actually. We were doing really good. And he's not really more... He's not really much of a zombies guy. He mainly plays MP because that's the only thing he does, honestly. I'm just keeping it real <laughs> with you because he just doesn't do anything else but MP. But I told him about it. I told him, like, a, some brief details about it. I told him, like, hey, man, don't invite this dude to our game. He's just really clingy. He's not the kind of person that I want to talk to. And I could have even elaborated upon it. I'm not even kidding. I'm not somebody who's, like... 
Even if somebody asks me about something, I'm not going to be like, oh, I'm just going to stay sh silent about it. No, I can go into detail. I'm not somebody who's going to hold back stuff. You know, life's too short. But for real, though, I was just in there talking with them, was talking with my friend. And lo and behold, the dude joins the party. And not only did he join the party, my friend said, quote unquote, I didn't invite him to the party when he clearly did. Not only did he do that. He invited, he told me that he invited him to the game, but even though I already told him not to, like I said, I just don't want to be in contact with this guy who's really just making me stressed out, and he was making me really livid, and I tried to be as nice as I could originally, because what I did originally was just block him. I blocked this dude because I did not want anything to do with him, and that was me being nice about it. I could have just, you know messaged him and i could have been a complete arse about it but that get the, i guess that's what my friend wanted to do was just be a complete a-hole with him honestly he would he sort just find out on his own what he was doing wrong but my friend betrayed my trust he invited him to the party when i literally told him not to i told him not to invite him not to invite him to the game not to do anything like that and if he would have asked me, I would have expanded upon in detail, but he didn't ask me anything. He took the responsibility into his own hands, and he just went behind my back, and he invited me, even though I literally told him not to. And another thing, too, is at this time, I had blocked him, so that way he couldn't basically just message me and whatnot, and my friend was just, you know, a complete arse. And once he did that, and I honestly got so mad after that, I'm like, why did you do that? Because, you know, I was just cursing and whatnot. But even though I was, I was level-headed and I even went into explicit detail on why I did. And he's like, no, there's no way he's actually as clingy as I had said. And then lo and behold, he's messaging him, like my friend, every single day after that. Literally every single day to get in contact with me. And... Yeah, it was just not a great situation. And then another time, he joined the party, and my friend again, I had, like, my friend and somebody else, and this other person just, like, completely roasted this dude. And, like, the Jeff dude who was really clingy. And, <laughs> dude, he was just, yeah, not, not great, honestly. Honestly, though, I didn't tell him to do that. I, I didn't do need to be real. Like, did not tell him to do that. And this Jeff dude was like, I'm not clingy at all. I'm not clingy by any means. Literally, like, messaging every, my friend, every single day to get in contact with me when I literally told him the reason why. Not only did I tell him the reason why, my friend told him the reason why. I told my friend who told him the reason why. And then he's just, basically just further proving my point to how he's so clingy but um yeah that's basically it for today's video just me talking about this dude who was really clingy and my friend who betrayed my trust by inviting him when i told him on numerous occasions not to do that but you know he went behind my back and he did it anyways and honestly it was like just a complete dick thing to do honestly but um yeah that's and for today's story time, this is basically talking about the dude who was so clingy. Like, if this dude were a girl, like, oh gosh dang, dude, I don't even know. I I would say that this girl would be a stalker, honestly, because it was that bad. Like, I'm not, I'm not fabricating it or anything. This person was really bad. The moral of this story is, if you see somebody who's really clingy and whatnot, don't tell your friends about it. And I would only tell, like, your really close friends about it because some people, you know, they're not really trustworthy, and I should have ex I should have expected much from this person anyways because of like the type of stuff he does on his own time. And that's just me saying this because I'm being real. Like, I'm being 100% real. <laughs> this dude is not a good person, and I'm talking about my friend right now. He does do stuff that you just don't do at a certain age. And that's all I will say for today's video. Honestly, I would only tell your close friends certain stuff and then don't tell other people certain stuff because you know if they're not really that close with you which this person he's not he's not gonna be close to me for a while honestly he's only gonna be a little bit close but not really that close you know what i mean because he literally just destroyed my trust you know, i will be getting into the girl who double crossed me now 
in this video I will, be, I will be talking about this girl I will be giving her a fake name because I don't really want to call her out even though she did me dirty don't get me wrong she really did me dirty um but you know sometimes that happens in life sometimes you just find those people and luckily I found out early and I didn't waste my time on her or energy rather so anyways let's get into this so there was this girl right and um I'll call her Sheila or Shiva no Shiva there we go I'll call her Shiva because that sounds a lot better <laughs> because that's what she is um she's a Shiva on pack a punch to on Black Ops 3 zombies for all of you who play Black Ops 3 zombies you know what I'm talking about <laughs> um no but in all seriousness so me and um Shiva I asked her to the dance and um this is like a dance like type of prom thing it's like a an event rather so if anybody hasn't had anything like that it's just like a special occasion so that that's just basically just summarizing it and oversimplifying it rather so anyways i asked her to it and i said i just didn't want to be in a relationship right now because you know i didn't know if it was going to work i don't want to get into a relationship like that you know what i mean because you know that's just not the way i am but she said yes unfortunately <laughs> that's just some foreshadowing for later on in the story so um yeah it's not really gonna go that well but um also i do need to preface this or at least say this because you know just because this girl like may have double crossed me doesn't mean you don't know like i think that about all girls and i will even have a moral of the story at the end of this hopefully i can do more videos like these and then I have like a moral of the story at the end of this. And um, yeah, so anyways, let's get back onto the story now. So I asked her to this dance like thing, like, you know, like a prom. And so me and this girl, right? Me and her were talking and whatnot. And I asked her this specific question via email. And she, oh my gosh. And I said, is it? only me that you're going with word for word just to make sure you know i i don't want to go if there's any another man's there you know what i'm saying and she said yes word for word yes it's only me so you know i was like okay and um so i got ready for the event and little did i know that would be a terrible night and it at the end of it, I would feel hollow, to be honest. But, um, anyways, it's the night before and whatnot. We're getting, well, I'm getting ready. I'm picking out all my stuff. That's mainly it. Let's time skip to the day. So, when it is the day, we got our tickets, you know, the day before and whatnot. And we're going there to our house, you know, to take pictures and whatnot to show how great of an event this is <laughs> and like it's setting up and whatnot rather um but yeah we're just taking pictures and that's mainly it and then we do a nice little time skip again and then we're at the event so once we're at the event her mom drops us off because you know her mom took us we're not going to be just a male and a female alone yeah you already know where that's going <laughs> but um, no, in all seriousness, um, she drops us off, and as soon as she leaves, as soon as she leaves, the worst thing that could have possibly happened was another guy went there, and that girl who I was with went to this other guy, and the entire night I was there, because it was like late at night, it was absolutely terrible and I was just there alone and it was just you know brought me back to my childhood <laughs> no, no, I'm kidding but um seriously though it was really unfortunate and um yeah I bet you could understand how I felt that whole time and then we got more pictures and whatnot and I was just uh I've never felt like so betrayed before you know what I mean like yeah imagine feeling that like you go to an event with a girl and then she just double crosses you and also i have made a video on this before of me like telling this little story but um 
you know, before when I did it, it, I had a terrible mic, but now I have an actual mic, so, you know, I thought I would update it. But still, though, it was an unfortunate event, to be honest, so, you know, it just wasn't really that great. But anyways, let's get straight back into the story. So, we're there and whatnot, and it's a terrible event for me, and honestly, I just hated every second of it, because I was... Basically, once I found out that happened, I just went to a table by myself and I was just sitting there watching everybody dance. It's like, you see like nothing but couples there and then you just have me just, yeah. Luckily though, one of my friends was there. So, you know, I was just chilling with him uh, and he had a date too. So, you know, he was just chilling there at the event. So, you know, I went with him and... Uh, the other person who took my date was actually one of my friends, so, you know, eh, I guess it really sh shown his true colors there, you know what I'm saying? But, um, I'm pretty sure he didn't know that at the time, I'm pretty sure he didn't, th didn't even know at all, to be honest, because I didn't tell him because I was just in such a bitter mood, and I was just like, I just want to go home. As soon as, like, the thing was over, it was just, I mean, I, I just wanted to go home, and... Yeah, it was just terrible overall. But there was one thing that did happen there, which was, you know, pretty nice. It was this one girl who um, went up to me, and then I slow danced with her. And then that's, like, the only, like, good thing that I remember from it. And I was really awkward and whatnot because, you know, I, I, I was naive, okay? <laughs> this was years ago, okay? This was years ago. Like, and I mean years when I say years. But, um, yeah, that was mainly the only real good thing that came from it. And then after that, we basically just went home, same person. And as soon as I got back, I was like, finally, <laughs> I'm back home <laughs> to where I want to be because that event was terrible. And essentially, the moral of the story is... For this and also I did keep it rather short because you know I just didn't want to expand upon it too much because you know I just didn't want to go on forever about this and I just wanted to get this one out because this one was like an old story just want to bring it up again and that way it's just on the surface now and that way I don't have to revisit it because this is just a terrible time you know it's, I, I'm not gonna lie, this is like one of the worst dances I've ever been to. Good thing it wasn't a date. Oh my gosh, if that was my first date, that would have been terrible. Um, no, but in all seriousness, it was a bad event overall. And after that, I just felt sorrow for hours, um, to be honest. I, I just didn't feel great. <laughs> and the state I was in at the time, too just like made it worse because it made me feel a lot worse and whatnot and i'll have a story coming up here soon talking about one of my greatest days so this is like one of like the worst scenarios i've ever had with this girl and also something i have to say too is this girl try to get back with me and i'm not even kidding like once she started to find out that i'm because like now i'm fit and whatnot <clears throat> she tried to like get closer to me she's trying to like talk to me have quote unquote small talk and i i wasn't having it it's like you know what goes around comes around am i right but um yeah that's been it for this video i just wanted to you know have it rather short the moral of the story is there is some bad fish in the sea and what i mean by that is you know there's some girls that are just you know not worth your energy to spend your time towards and that's just the truth and a great example is the girl in this story you know she was <coughs> shiva i'm <coughs> back <bunched. coughs> but um yeah in all seriousness though she was a big waste of time for me and you know now that she's out of my life now you know i feel a lot better so you know the days do get better so you know even though this was the worst experience i've ever had with a girl you know at least I can learn from it and, like, <clears throat> who not to hang out with. But, um, yeah, that's mainly the moral of the story. And it looks like we're at somewhat of the 8-minute to 9-minute mark, somewhere around there. But, um, 
that wasn't the point of this video. This point of the vi video was just to explain the story and hope you guys did enjoy. Um, I had fun making this because it made me remember this time, which was awful, especially at the time. At the time, it was 10 times worse, but now that I've matured, I feel like it's not really that much anymore, just because I've been through a lot more personally. And yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy. And until next time, as usual, and until next time, as usual, have yourselves a damn good one as always and be on the lookout for our next story time video also i have to say for like youtube videos this is just like some extra seg segment so if you want to click off you can but this is just mainly about videos this is like primarily for videos is as of right now i can't really play that much for like you know cod and whatnot because I'm having bad circumstances right now, aka <laughs> no Xbox Live Gold. So that's mainly all I wanted to say. And that's and I've already done my outro, so anyways, roll the outro and um yeah, be on the lookout for some more story time videos. The next one will be a lot more authentic. I can guarantee you that, okay? I I put my life on it, it'll be a lot more authentic and I'll have a lot more to say. This one was just kind of short because you know I just wanted to get this story out i just want to just get this over with because i just really don't like the story and this story i've went over like a hundred times in my head so you know because you know the time and whatnot like years ago i was like thought this was like the worst thing that could have ever happened to me but um now that i've matured i know that wasn't the case but um until next time as usual have yourselves a damn good one as always i know i'm redoing my outro but you know why not do it again anyways peace out Hey guys, what is up? Zane here, and welcome to another video, and in today's video, I will be talking about the dress. So yeah, this is what this video is going to be about. It will be about my crush in this video. So this is actually going to get rather interesting, like really interesting. So in today's video, I will, will be talking about when I was in English. So this is going to be going back in time quite a bit bit back in time because it'll take a while to explain this so before we get into this though i am honestly surprised i've been doing these daily uploads and i hope you guys have been enjoying them as much as i have been making them because it's been really fun to be honest but anyways let's get to the story so we do a time skip back in time to when i was in english with my crush and the f so it was the day before prom or formal however you want to pronounce it and this girl wore the most revealing clothes and also be before i uh, get into this too i have to say like i don't really have a crush on this girl anymore it was just like an old crush and i'm just revisiting it because honestly this is just funny like just my reaction to this so anyways in english class we were reading this book and as I said already, my crush was literally, gosh, she's wearing the most revealing clothes. And I could literally see her undergarments at some times because that's how revealing it was. And not only could I see that, but I could also see, um, let's just say she wasn't wearing a top. That, that, that's all I'm saying. But, um, yeah, <laughs> I'm pretty sure you get the gist of what I'm saying right now. I'm trying to be as family friendly as possible because you know youtube um no but in all seriousness um we were reading this book like the whole entire class and i'm not gonna lie it was hard to keep my composure like to keep my body um from not, uh not becoming firm so you know I, I tried my best to do that but um yeah it, it didn't really work so well as I had envisioned so yeah that was mainly that part of the story and like the dress is just so revealing and bro my eyes were like a magnet to her like that day because just because of how revealing the clothes were and I was like gosh dang and she she looked fine in the dress too and I was like oh, man. and not again I gotta gotta keep my composure but yeah that was mainly it we just continued continued about the, our day reading the book and you know what's so weird though even though she was like in the class and she went to like the formal dance type of thing 
I didn't see her at all. That was actually really surprising. I it was a little bit in awe, to be honest. But, um, yeah, so anyways, and do a little time skip to when we are in a different class together. And this is a little extra story because, you know, that first story was just way too short with the dress. And, you know, I was just trying to keep myself from becoming, well, you know. Uh, so we were in this one class and I would just say avoid drug class because, you know, it, pretty sure you get the gist of what the class is. You know, it's like focus, focuses on nutrition and, you know, keeping your body healthy. So anyways... We're just in this class together, unfortunately, <laughs> because, you know, we just ended up having the same class. But uh, when we had this same class together, oh my gosh, my brain went so off because we did this like Jeopardy game in the class because, you know, we, we just wanted to do it to help review for an upcoming test. So we did it and um, I was in our group, right? And my brain just completely shut off. And yeah, it just it just wasn't a great time for me. And here's what happened, all right? So the teacher asked me the specific question that is so obvious. I bet you even know the answer to whoever's watching this. Whoever or whomever is watching this, rather. What's the addictive chemical in cigarettes? Just really simple, right? My brain could not process that. It's like, hmm. <laughs> I genuinely didn't know. Everyone else knew in the class except for me. Like, the teacher's like, here, let him get, give him a minute. It's like been like a few minutes at this point. He's like, how does he not? <laughs> it was honestly just pretty funny, but it's crazy what stress can do to you, I swear. But, um, mainly stressing because, you know, Jeopardy, you know just you know all of the tension is on you so and also mainly because of that other part as well you know Chris being in the class looking straight at you like waiting for an answer and you're just trying to keep your composure and you're just like crap <laughs> like every, because everyone's looking at you but that, now I don't really have a problem when it's everyone looking at me but then you got that one specific person looking at you in particular yeah it's just not not, not a good time for anyone but um yeah, I just didn't know the answer. Obviously, it's nicotine. That's an addictive chemical and cigarettes and whatnot. And I didn't know that. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't know. I was like, it, it, it's definitely alcohol. Finally. <laughs> Gosh dang, it's like, it's like that one clip, uh, name a yellow fruit. And then you're just like, orange, dude. Like, like yes. <laughs> like, it's just oh gosh it's just so dumb but yeah that's mainly it for uh the crush side of things and also for the dress story i hope you guys did enjoy that and that's mainly it for today's video um i will actually have another video on jeopardy like a little jeopardy thing because i just now remembered it and it's actually rather interesting and it was a day that my self-esteem went really high for that entire day because you know we just bombed in that class like me and this like other dude who are in the group we contributed so much it was just everyone was in awe because we won like it was like the first game of jeopardy that we did and we won somehow i managed to help too when <sighs> when i didn't know what, what nicotine was when it's an addictive chemical and drugs uh let's not let's not talk about that honestly let's let's just really not talk about that okay let's just keep that between me and you you know like whoever's watching this video just keep that between me and you because you know yeah but um yeah that was mainly it for the crush story honestly this is like the most that i'll ever have for the crush story because honestly there's not really that much other than like awkward tension uh other than that it's just really nothing Especially like as of right now too, it's just I don't really have any other stories to be honest. But I may have another story coming up with Jeopardy, which is going to be rather interesting. And be on the lookout for a video on the tenth too, because there's going to be a video in particular on the tenth that you all should be waiting for, because that one is going to be really good. And 
it's gonna be the video that I've been planning, but I just haven't been able to start it yet because, you know, if I start it now, I'm probably gonna upload it before the 10th and it'll just be premiering and I don't want that because, you know, it's just gonna be like, oh, it's right there. I don't need it. I definitely don't need it. But um, anyways, I feel like I rambled on long enough, especially with these stories. But if you guys have enjoyed, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe because we're on the verge of 400 subscribers right now and I would like to reach that before the end of the year. That's that's all I'm asking. So if you guys could do that, please leave a like, you know, to help the algorithm see this and some other people can see this and be tell my embarrassing story. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie, these videos so far is just mainly me just roasting myself and I don't know. It's like I'm just putting myself down, but I guess I guess I need to be humble at times, so uh all jokes aside until next time as usual have yourselves a damn good one as always because i have loved filming these videos and hey guys what is up zane here and welcome to another video and in today's video we are going to be telling another story time and this one's going to get a little bit emotional but it's not going to be getting crazy emotional and the moral of this story is going to be be sure to say goodbye and make sure while you're living, you don't, you know, do something major towards someone, like, that you love, and you just mess up really badly, and then the next day, they just pass away, you know what I mean, like, your last encounter with them, basically just don't have it as a negative one, that, that is something that I strive for, now, I get it, we make mistakes as humans, and that's bound to happen eventually, but you can definitely take precautions to prevent that and in today's video i will be talking about the time i got to say goodbye and i said i was going to be talking about the father figure video and like just basically having a father figure in my life and basically having a father in my life now i'm going to be real with you guys i my father was never in my life he really wasn't he wasn't there for me especially when i needed him he just at my lowest point in my life he didn't want to hear anything that I had to say and when it came to my dreams and the stuff I wanted to chase and especially doing YouTube he just resented it he's like don't do it stray away from it just don't do it and I I'm lucky I didn't take that because if I would have took that I would have gave up on so much more other things especially things that I love doing and if I would have gave up on YouTube, I would have never have known that like how happy it, it's making me now. And hopefully it can make me happy in the future because I love making videos for you guys. Because even if it's one person watching, even if like it's literally just one person, a few people, as long as I'm making some of your guys' days, that's my objective for YouTube. And honestly i love doing it that's the only reason why i'm doing it is because i love doing it and it's a passion of mine and some i know some days it can be tedious especially with the editing and then just completely messes up but regardless the finished product is always worth it so i'm never gonna quit on you guys and I, hopefully the same can be said vice versa but um anyway it's now that i got that little rain out of the way I'm going to talk about my father. Now, my father has never been in there for my life, as I did previously just say. He just wasn't ever there. However, I was very fortunate and, well, you know, unfortunate for not having my dad there, that I did have a role model in my life as a father and somebody who was there for me, who was the pinnacle for me to keep moving forward and to focus on goals, objectives, and, you know, to succeed and I'm lucky I had this person in my life and honestly I'm played a major role I'm not gonna lie <laughs> so I did a lot of other factors you know especially during my depression era or states I know that was a dark time in my life and I don't really want to bring it up again until I have this certain video talk about it and I will be having a depression story time and just what it's like because there are going to be some people who just, you know, never experienced depression. They don't even know what that is or, like, what it's like. They may know what it is, but they may not know what it's like to go through it. 
and to just have an overwhelming sadness and just it just sucks honestly before my grandpa passed i did a presentation on him and i'm not going to be showing my face because i'm not going to be showing my face until 1 million subscribers because i'd rather do it then because i want you guys to be completely surprised of what my face looks like so before my grandpa passed he had lung cancer and this was recently and before he passed i was working on a project about him and it was about and it was about him his life and what he meant to me and how he was like a father figure to me because i i just didn't have a father figure growing up i didn't have anything like that i didn't have any role models or anything like that i had to learn everything on my own I had to see those around me I love get hurt, those hurting themselves, and being an outcast to everyone, but this one person in particular, my grandpa, is always there. He would hear what I'd have to say, and I even helped him get started on YouTube. And that was the greatest thing for what he told me, is that helped him ease his stress, and it was just, he liked doing it. And I'll even have his channel at the end screen of today's video. Yeah, it's just... This video is a little bit hard to make, I'm not even gonna lie, but yeah, I, I helped him make his own channel. I helped him get started, I even showed him YouTube and whatnot, and he grew. He grew really fast, honestly. If he kept going, he could've got to like 1K pretty quick. So anyways, I helped him start a channel and whatnot, and he got his channel going, but that's not what I wanna focus on. I wanna put more emphasis on him in general. So before he passed, I did a presentation on him and to who he was and what he meant to me and I'm so glad I did that because I finally got to pay it forward to somebody who was there for me and unfortunately I didn't get to do that in the past with Etika which is somebody who I looked up to I never got to say goodbye I never got to let him know that he was loved I never got to do anything like that so this really did make my year and it's just something that i am so grateful that i had the opportunity to do the conclusion is growing up i really just didn't have a dad growing up and my grandpa was always there for me and my dad was in no life i'm not even gonna lie he was a drunk and overall my dad was just a terrible person and he's worse than scum is what i would like to put it and yeah Anyways, I'm going to put some more emphasis on the presentation. I'm just glad that I got to do the presentation. And yes, he even saw the presentation. So that's great. And I'm not even going to lie. Most of the people in there when I was giving the presentation, this was for speech as well. Most of the people in there were just, you know, in tears. But I mean, I, I was too. It was really hard to give the speech because like somebody who you admired for so long it's like basically just losing your dad and it's just it's just really hard to take in because my real dad you know he's just scum honestly if he passes away i don't care i don't care about him but my grandpa on the other hand was like a dad to me he was that male figure that i had in my life and i'm lucky that i gotta have and i'm just so grateful but somebody in there too said that i looked a lot like him so i'm like really and i saw the resemblance and i was like oh dang but uh yeah that's that's mainly it hey guys what is up zane here and welcome to another video and in today's video i will be talking about turning on too much power and this will play a key role in the video so yeah <laughs> it's just really funny all around so yeah, it, it, it is like really funny. I'm not even gonna lie. And I know my brothers know this very well because the- Oh my gosh, it's just so funny. And the gameplay even is gonna sum it up for the most part because this is what map it happened on too. <laughs> oh gosh. But anyways, let's get straight into this. So, for this story time. Me and my brothers, we were playing some die rise. I think we, we were taking turns and whatnot. And this plays a major role, as a matter of fact. So we go and we're playing die rise. We, we're on the spawn. We go head down to like the little elevator that it makes us 
go all the way down towards power. So we're, you know, we're basically about to turn on power and <laughs> we turn on power, right? And as soon as we turn on power, and also this story is going to be a bit short when not, but <laughs> we turn on power and then you just see this African-American male and then this African-American female, then this African-American females just eat <laughs> this African-American male's a uh, Twinkie. That, that's what we'll say. Just, she's just trying to get that cream fill out of it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and this pops up on her screen. And we're just playing Die Rise. And then we're like, what is this? This is so weird. <laughs> then my older brother comes out of the other room. Because he, you know he's what he's obviously doing. He was obviously... <clears throat> and oh my gosh, it's like streaming to our TV. And we just see this video and it goes on continuously for like a good 15 to 20 seconds. <laughs> And oh my gosh, we were like really young when we saw this too. We were like very young and then we're like, what the heck is this? <laughs> oh my gosh, it was... It was a traumatic experience to say the least. It was also like really funny because like now that I'm older, I know exactly what it was. <laughs> I'm glad I know what it was. Oh my gosh, that just makes it that much better. But um... Yeah, so we turned on the power, and, you know, he's just streaming the video. He comes in, and he's like, uh, oh, I don't, I don't know, I don't know what that, I don't know what that is, you know? It's just, just a random video. Just, uh, stuttering with his words, and whatnot. <laughs> and it's obvious that what he was doing was he was streaming his, <coughs> his prawn to the TV. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it was so funny. Because we were just all wondering, like, what the heck was that? And then we went to go exit the application and whatnot, and then we just restarted the game we were playing, and then we continued as per usual. But it, it was really funny. <laughs> like, we were just doing that, and then, yeah, it, it's just not, not a great experience. <laughs> <laughs> we were like, what the heck was this? So essentially, like, it was just that being streamed to the TV. And it it was uh, definitely rated M for Mature, for sure. Like, on a whole nother level. <laughs> but gosh dang. And then, that's one story for this video. So I'm going to have another story. And this is going to be taking place on a holiday. And it wasn't the holiday that's coming up. It was actually a previous holiday. I'm pretty sure it was the 4th of July with fireworks and whatnot. So this holiday in particular, there was this thing that I drew with chalk. Oh gosh, this is so bad. But um, I drew this thing with chalk and... <laughs> gosh so one of my family members were questioning me like hey what did you draw and whatnot because it because it looked kind of cool you know but it's not actually that cool <laughs> of to what it actually is and i'm not gonna say what it is because it is just kind of messed up but yeah that, it just wasn't that great honestly but anyway so I'm probably just making you guys anticipate to what it was, but I'm not gonna say what it was because you know it just wasn't that great, and I'm pretty sure it's not YouTube friendly to say what it was. It wasn't anything dirty, but I mean it was actually kind of dirty. But yeah, anyways, so <laughs> I drew this thing in chalk, and uh, one of my relatives went up to me and had asked, "What is it?" and like what it was and i'm like oh yeah it's it's minecraft oh yeah it, it's minecraft yeah it's like uh, it's a new season for minecraft oh my gosh new season oh my gosh my brain that's that's what i get for uh filming this really early in the morning when i'm just tired out of my mind but yeah i just said it was minecraft or it was like just something to do with minecraft i don't know what i said exactly but i was definitely referring to minecraft an awful lot so, yeah, and um, luckily I got out of that because, you know, that was just a really bad circumstance. And I was like, oh, 
gosh and i even told him my friend what it was and he's like what the heck because <laughs> it was like taking up like the just the entire driveway it was just really funny but oh um, oh my gosh i'm not gonna live that down because that was just really funny of to what it was let's just say if you want a hint on what it was let's just say it involves three numbers and that is all i will say <laughs> Yeah, it's it it wasn't quite pleasing to look at, <laughs> and yeah, it was. Oh gosh, just thinking about it and what happened and like to what it was and like knowing what it was and then he's like, oh, what is it? It's like I drew like um the male parts and <laughs> I'm like, oh, it's it's, it's Minecraft Creeper. <laughs> That's what it was like. But um, that that's that's not what I drew, obviously, because you know anyone could pick up on that and would know what it was. But um, yeah, anyways, that's it for today's video. And until next time, as usual, have yourselves a damn good one. And that's it for today's story. Today's story was rather short, but you know I just wanted to switch it up for stories to have less a less serious story today and a more funny story because you know a lot of them have been quite deep recently no pun intended and <laughs> anyways peace out i will be talking about a certain time where i avoided fighting and i scared this dude away from fighting me it was honestly the most alpha male thing i've ever done and the funniest part is that i wasn't even strong at this time but this one dude just absolutely made me frustrated because he was being so rude. He was like one of the most rude people that I've ever seen. Um, and Matt, obviously. But, um, yeah, so this video is going to be talking about this fight that about went down. And I, I'm not going to lie. I probably would have lost. I'm not going to lie. Like, back then, I was, like, really bad with fighting. And I didn't know anything about fighting. Bro, I probably would have got pummeled, to be honest. But, dude, this dude probably had no fighting experience either. So, it would have been, like watching two girls try to fight who aren't experienced at all and I'm pretty sure you get the gist of that they're like just like waving their arms trying to fight you know what I'm saying um now I'm obviously joking around this is you know being serious about what I was saying in this example y'all get offended on this and you know y'all gotta grow up a little bit but um, all jokes aside I will be talking about the story and to where I, dude, I just scared this guy from fighting me, honestly. Like, I went up to him, and I was, like, he was, he was like, four foot, and I was, like, five foot, and I, like, stood up to him, dude, and he just got scared. And before I do that, I got to do a little, I got to go a little bit back in time. So, essentially, what was happening was we were over here, we were just vibing, we were playing basketball, me and my friend, and my other friend, actually, and we went to this place and we were just playing basketball. We were just shooting hoops. And then we were just playing there for like an hour. Just like shooting hoops. And some time passes. And then these two guys, like basically two teams, I would say. Uh, these two teams come in and they're just playing ball. And, you know, it wasn't a serious game. They weren't really being serious, but they had to take up both of the hoops when they could have just played half court i don't know why they didn't do that i still thinking about it you know why didn't they just play half court they didn't need to do no freaking this ain't no nba you know what i'm saying like what's wrong with them but um yeah they were doing that and then we were basically basically when we, they were on the complete other side of the court we were just shooting hoops for a little bit and then you know it wait until they would go and pass the area and sometimes our ball would, you know, get completely mixed up with theirs. And this one dude in particular, he just kept grabbing our ball that we had, or like basketball, and he just kept throwing it. He just kept throwing it away, like, you know, go over there, go over there or something. Or like, go to a different court when, you know, the court was open to everyone, you know. It's not like they had individual rights for this. This wasn't, this wasn't like their own private property. No, that's not what this was. The same one, this wasn't that situation, just in case if you're trying to vouch for this guy, because, you know, there's some people out there who are really dumb and vouch for 
dumb people. I, I don't know. <laughs> at times, I mean, unless they're close, but even at that point, clearly see they're in the wrong, you know. Yeah, some people. But, um, anyways, back to the story. So, this dude just kept throwing her a ball, and I got so fed up. Like, we went to this other gym. Like, we, we were still in, like, the same building, but we went, we went into this other area type of gym, and we were just shooting hoops. But then at one point, I got so frustrated, dude. I went up to this guy. Now, my memory is a bit vague, so it may not have happened exactly like this. But, um, meaning, like, you know, the circumstances leading up to this, or the scenarios leading up to this, weren't exactly the same. So, that that's all I'm re really saying. But, anyways, this one dude made me so mad because he kept doing this. And he kept doing it to our ball. When we, we were we were just vibing, dude. We were just vibing. We were chilling. We were out here just playing ball. We, we weren't trying to hurt anyone. We were just, you know, playing ball. That's all we were doing. We were just shooting hoops, practicing, you know, trying to get better at basketball. Because, honestly, it was really fun at the time. But, you know, over time, you know, you find new passions and you fi find new hobbies that you actually really like. And that's what happened to me, so I didn't really do ball that much anymore. But when I did, I was on that, like, white on rice, dude, because it was, it was my life, dude. I'm not even going to lie. Like, the ball is life, quote, is quite serious for that time in my life, that era. But uh, all jokes aside, so we were just doing this, and then I got so angry and agitated. Sorry if I kept, like, just hyping this up. Over and over, I wasn't meaning, mean, I wasn't meaning to do that. But, um, anyways, this one dude who's like shorter than me, I walked up to him and I was just livid, dude. I was like, you know, I don't care if I get beat down, I'm gonna be taking this guy down with me because he had made me absolutely livid because he's messing with my friend's ball, messing with my ball, and I'm like, you know, you're gonna be messing with our basketballs, dude. I'm gonna fight. <laughs> like, now it didn't get to that point, luckily, because I probably would have got my a hole handed to me, or it might have been the opposite. This guy may not have known how to fight either, which is why I said, you know, fight like girls and whatnot, because that would have been between both of us. But gosh dang, I went up to him, the most serious face. I I acted like I was gonna knock him out. That was like my facial expression, and I looked at him, dude, and I'm like. Man, I don't even know what happened, but like, I like stared him down, and I was like face to face with him. I did not back down because he was just being an absolute a hole, dude. But um, that was mainly it. And then once I was staring him down, he he backed off. He went full like he went full like cat mode. He's like. Like he's like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I, I won't let it happen again. Like that's basically what happened there because he was being such a, <laughs> yeah. I'm I'm pretty sure you can get the gist of what that word is. But uh, yeah, he backed down after that and he just went, you know, full five, full five year old. You know, he was like, please, please, because that's essentially what he was doing. Now it didn't exactly happen like that, but from the time and place. That's exactly how he was acting, and uh, he's like, oh, don't hurt me, man, don't hurt me, man. Like, I literally st stared him down, dude. We got that whole area back, I'm pretty sure. Now, I don't remember it vividly, but I do remember that one time, and I made him I made him poop bricks, and, it, and he was pooping, pooping bricks for a while. After that, I'm pretty sure. But, uh, yeah, everyone else there, though, was cool, except for that one dude. He was an absolute a-hole. He's probably just mad because he hasn't had a girlfriend in his life. And probably can't even get a girlfriend, to be honest. He's like, why can't I get a girlfriend, dude? <sighs> probably probably uh, the reason why he was acting like that, to be completely honest. You know, there's some people who do be acting like that. He's just mad that he couldn't get any action, so, you know. Uh... Yeah, that's mainly it for today's story time. It was just me basically, like, you know, sticking up for my friends who were there. You know, I went up to him, basically just a stare down of life, dude. And, um, yeah, he backed down for sure. He was, like, basically just knew he was he was going to get his a-hole handed to him. Or, you know, I, I just don't know if, 
honestly. I, th my memory is so vague that it's hard to, like, pinpoint, like, the details on this one because, like, I haven't really, you know, gone back over the story as other than the time when it happened. Like, I remember, like, to where it was at, and I remember, like, all my friends were like, oh my gosh, dude, you made this guy back down. Like, this guy was, like, he just kept bragging he was from Chicago the whole time. He kept thinking he was all that, and then once someone got in his face, dude, he just backed down. So, I would say the moral of the story is, honestly, I, I would say, like, stands tall. Like, don't, don't back down. Don't be no coward. If you're gonna say something... Talk, if you're gonna, the moral of the story for this video, actually, is if you're gonna talk the talk, you gotta walk the walk, alright? Just like Ali did, so, um, yeah, that's mainly it for today's video. I just wanted to keep it rather short because, you know, it was actually just a little funny story about this one dude who thought, he, who literally thought he was all that. He's like, oh, I'm from Chicago, but, um, he was acting like he was all that, then I got up in his face. And then he backed down, so there there wasn't anything left of him after that, you know, because he was like, you know, he, he went full, you know, <clears throat> B mode uh, because he was, because of how hard he backed down. But, um, yeah, that was mainly it. I, I don't really remember that much because my memory is kind of vague, so, like, sorry if I couldn't pinpoint the details on this story because this story I just really just wasn't interested in i mean it, i was a little interested in but like my memory is just so vague so it's hard to like pinpoint the details honestly it might come to me later on and uh if it does i will be sure to retell the story but um as of right now this is mainly all i remember and i may just keep it at that for now but um uh, anyways hope you guys did enjoy and as usual have yourselves a dang good one as always and peace out and be ready for this next story time coming out this one will be about my dad and the dad that i never had in life so this is going to be a really good story and it's going to be me talking about about my personal life actually and this is going to be like the only real time that i'll talk about it like him and a story other than you know next year because i'll have like a serious video as i always as i hopefully always can have on December 10th so be sure to look out for that I'm having a story on my dad and um, let's just say he's like the milk man you know what I'm saying he went to go get that milk but yo he ain't ever coming back and that's exactly the type of father he was and um, anyways I've already done my outro so honestly just peace out have yourselves a damn good one you know uh, there, there, there isn't really anything for me to say here other than ha have a good rest of your week Yo guys, what is up, Zane here, and welcome to an another video, and in today's video, we will be discussing the time I about slipped up, and this would have been bad because, um, I, I just gotta say one thing before we get into this, this doctor that I am referring to in this video, she was, she was like a 20 out of 10, she was, ah, man, I'm not gonna lie, I would... You, you know what? Let's 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 stop, let's stop talking about that. All right? Okay. Now I'm just getting off topic. But um, no, for real though, she was she was kind of bad. I'm not gonna lie. But <laughs> all jokes aside, um, so to start this off, so I went to go in to get my flu shot, and I also went to go get my physical. So you know, I just well, I didn't really go in to get my flu shot. I did that after. I just got two shots all the way done with, cause you know, why not? But um, anyways. So here's how I about slipped up, and I will explain that just because, like you know, sometimes be, as being being human, sometimes your brain messes up. And the reason why I about messed up was because I thought I was talking to my friend for a second. And um, yeah, this this isn't gonna sound good when I get to the details later on. But yeah, I went to go and get my uh, shot. So I went to go in to get my physical, and then you know I got the shot after. But uh, the thing is too, like. She literally got me, like, the band-aids for after the shot. And she got me, like, camo band-aids. And I was like, because she was referring that I was a strong, fierce man. Okay, I, I need to stop. <laughs> I need to stop to where I'm at. But anyways, let's continue. It was going kind of good, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't going the best, but um, I, it was going kind of great, actually, because I was listening to music. Like, I'm not going to lie, the music I was listening to was just fire. And when I went in, too, I didn't know it was at, like, max volume until, like, 
the person who I was with told me, so I was like, ah, oh, gosh dang it. <laughs> so, yeah, that happened, and then I had to die down the volume because the volume was way too loud. Anyway, so I died down the volume, we went in, basically just in the waiting room now at this point, and once I was in the waiting room, just waiting for my shot, so I went to go in to get my physical, and once I went to go do that, I had to do my weight, and then I also went to go and do the flexibility test, which I suck at, because I am not flexible in the slightest, and it's mainly just because the reason why I'm not flexible is because I don't really stretch, and it's like really bad for me, so I need to like start stretching a little bit more, but uh, even though I don't stretch, it doesn't mean like, you know, I'm obese or anything like that, no, no that's not what it means, it just means... After a long workout, I just need to start stretching because I don't I don't stretch long enough or at all. So I need to get into the habit of doing that. So I did that. Then I'm getting ready for my shot and whatnot. And I'm just preparing for my physical and everything. So then I had to put on this thing and I had to like basically just strip down my clothes a little bit. Mainly just to where I'm wearing underwear. That's all it really was. It wasn't really, really anything special. And... Oh my gosh, this is gonna get into the funny part, all right? <laughs> oh man. So here's what I about said. Uh, so there was this like really cute doctor as I was talking about in the intro. And tell me why. <laughs> like she thinks that like I haven't, you know, put my clothes back on and whatnot, even though I have. And, you know, I didn't really strip down that much. Like, all you'd really see is just my abs. That's really it. Like, not going to really see anything. <clears throat> but anyways, so I put on everything. I put everything back on. And tell me why she says this. It's like, ha has he put his clothes back on? Oh, like, that's the way she was acting. Just acting kind of, you know, being a bit frantic about it, I guess. I guess that's a word. But, uh... <laughs> Because I can't really think of a better word right now. Because my brain's just woke up. It's getting ready for the day. So. Tell me why I about said this. I'm like, oh, I thought you wanted me to have my clothes off. Like, I about said that. And if I would have said that, that would have been so embarrassing. I would have been like. <sighs> would have just been in awe. I liked it. I would have been dumbfounded just because I said that. But, um. Yeah, so th that happened. And I, I didn't mean to say that, by the way. I literally didn't mean to. But then after that, you know, we left the doctor. And then we went back to the house. And but before we did, we got some food. When that was really good. But um, thank God. Thank the Lord. <laughs> that I did not say that. Because <laughs> if I said that, that would have been so stupid on my part. And um, honestly, I don't want to keep this video too short. So I'll say another story as well. But before we do... I had to vouch for myself, okay? I thought I was talking to my friend, and I know this doesn't sound great at all, but we like to joke around and whatnot, and I just about completely messed up. I was just so used to like talking like that, just because, you know, when's the last time that I've actually talked to a normal human being, or talked to a human being in general? Not a normal human being, sorry about that. But, <laughs> it's just about my friend. But I haven't like talked to a person in such a long time because, you know, COVID <laughs> like it's literally as simple as that and I will be having a separate video on that here soon so be ready for that and it's gonna be like my only video actually talking about COVID and unless these tour times you know happen to have COVID in this circumstance so this is the only video that I know that you know is really gonna have a circumstance with COVID so that's mainly it anyways this is gonna be the doctor story plus extra so that's, pro uh, that's probably what I'm going to name the title as well. But, dude, I'm not going to lie. This doctor was, like, really cute, though. She was definitely 20 out of 10. Like, if she were to ask me in the doctor's room and was like, want to go with me back here? I'm like, oh, yeah, I'll go with you back there. I'll go with you anywhere because you, you're 10, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, but anyways, let's get into this next story. So this next story was about that English class so also that doctor story that i said it was like recently too so that wasn't a long time ago unlike this upcoming story so there was this english class that i really liked and i got into it a little bit in my previous stories but um 
the reason why I'm getting into the English class story is because this one's actually pretty funny. So, this teacher, right, for the English class that I really liked, you know, it's literally one of the best classes that I've ever had. And tell me why. <laughs> I have a class with her son, right? And her son told me, word for word, are you trying to date my mom? Like, it was like the funniest thing. I was like, what? I was like, no. <laughs> it was so random. And it was like, just like uncalled for. I was like, what the heck? <laughs> it was like one of the most random things I've ever heard anybody say. And the funny part is like, this dude just like, you know, just casual dude, you know what I'm saying? And it's just so random. I'm like, what the heck? <laughs> like, I'm just going about my business, you know? Just, you know, in this one class, I was just, you know, learning and whatnot. I was just focusing as hard as I could. And, you know, just trying to get the assignments done. Mainly that was it. Just, you know, just passing the time. And then he just goes up to me and he's, and he's just like, Are you trying to date my mom? Like, what the heck? <laughs> it was the most random stuff that I've ever heard. And, um, uh, the obvious answer I gave was no, you know, <laughs> obviously. And it was just really weird i was like what the heck i was just in shock for that entire day that he said that like i thought it was gonna be like yo how, how's your day going you know like how are you doing but nope he <laughs> says that instead I, I don't know what that's about but um anyways until next time as usual have yourselves a damn good one and also before i you know completely wrap this up so the things that I wanted to basically get just a, told the story for the doctor story and we also told the story for the mom story I guess if you want to say that the story about the kid who said that about his mom I I, I don't I don't I still don't know what that was about I was like what the heck I was just in shock that I heard that like could have been literally anything but that was the words that he decided to say yeah um don't know the moral of this story is um, keep keep a lid on it sometimes in public. That's the moral of this story. You know what I'm saying? Because like sometimes, you know, I, I literally just about slipped up so badly. I was going to be like, gosh, dang it. But as I said, though, like that doctor, though, I'm, I'm just putting some more emphasis on this doctor. She was really cute. I'm not even going to lie. She was like hella cute. She was like. Honestly, she looked like she was 18 or 19. That, yeah. She looked young and fine. That's that's all I gotta say. But, um, anyways, that's it for today's video. And, um, be ready for some more story times here soon because I'm gonna be pulling out uploads and hopefully I can come up with more story times because, as right now, it's just kind of vague just trying to think of story times that I can, you know, do. Mainly just because it's like hard to, you know, like come up with them and just rem to remember these old stories. But hopefully it's going to be a good one for the next one. And I just wanted to get into this doctor story because this doctor story, as I said, was really funny. And then I also got the extra little story too. So, yeah, that, that's mainly. Hey guys, what is up? Zane here. And in today's video, I will be talking about this club. And this club that I am talking about, it is not what you think. If you think it's a different type of club, no. <laughs> this club in particular said something so stupid or idiotic, however you want to phrase it. And I just, like, I was like, what? And this was about genders, and I was just like, oh, no. <laughs> if you're saying, oh, no, already, I, I can agree with that. So... Anyways, today I will be talking about this club, and um, it was it was just really bad, honestly, to what this person said in the club. And the worst part is, this person owns it. And if when I keep saying club, it's not the club you're thinking about. It's like, say if you're in a gamers club or something like that. That's what I'm talking about. Like gamers, fitness club, uh, relaxing club. I I don't I really don't know. <laughs> Uh, that, that those are like the only two that I can think of right now because my brain I just have so much brain fog I don't know why anyways I will be getting into this so for this club right it is a decent club honestly it's pretty good but this kind of did cross the line 
for me, and it's just because it made me mad on like how it makes people so sensitive to the point where they can't even have their own opinions, and it's just so stupid. And I've noticed that like a lot now that people can't have their own actual opinions and they just stick to the norm. Essentially, they're just like, oh yeah, that's that, that that's definitely true, you know? They, they can't even think for themselves, which essentially they're like sheep. And it's just because they don't think for themselves. They just try to fit in and they try to see what's best. Well, not really see what's best. They see like, oh, everybody's doing this. Like, say if it's murder, right? Everybody's like, oh, okay. Let's not do it. And then they don't get into the details, you know what I mean? But like, <clears throat> say like this person killed your whole family, right? You know what I'm saying? And then they're like, oh no, murder's so bad. Why would you do that? But like, I don't know. I, I have my brain just kind of went sporadic. I don't even know what happened there. But um, you get what I'm saying though. Like they can't really think for themselves. And this is like just a really bad scenario, honestly. I, And it shows how gullible people are to just changing their opinion and if you and if you genuinely can't have your own opinion and it's like why it's like why why do that to yourself you know but um anyways i will be getting into what this person said now i'm not hating on this person but i am definitely saying that this person is weak-minded for not having his own opinion so anyways this conversation was about gender right and on this form right that i had to fill out a while ago like a long while ago and it said like choose your gender and then other was on there i'm like what is this option about right because it's like there's only two genders you know what i'm saying and it's just dumb like people who try to say they're a gender that they're not it's like there's only two genders, and I'm not changing my mind on that at all. And it's not because, oh, I'm, I'm a male pig, as some feminists are led to believe or say about others just because they're wrong. It's just so stupid. It, it like, it's so dumb, and it's like, I, I don't, I don't, I don't really understand. And it's like, oh, but what about gays? Well, it's like, it's either you're straight or you're not. Like, it's there's no in between. I'm saying. But uh, anyways, so what this uh, person uh, said, word for word, so I was talking to him, I was saying, you know, there's only two genders, and that's that. Like, why would you try to spread nonsense that there's more than two genders when there's not? Like, there's people who say, when they spring that up, and then they say there's more than two genders, they say, it's unlimited, there's an unlimited amount of genders, which makes no sense. We don't even have that much in our vocabulary, so um, you might want to rethink those words, okay? Because it's so stupid. Like, I just don't understand people, honestly. I really don't. But anyway, so here's what this person said, and this is word for word. It's this person said, "Tread lightly, please. We as a club are all inclusive, which means we are accepting of anyone's gender choice." And that, yeah, that, that's basically it. I'm like, what? Are, are you kidding me? So, if somebody says they're an attack helicopter, they're not. <laughs> they're not. And the reason why I'm getting into this is because since people are so gullible and they can't even think for themselves and they're just being sheep, like literal sheep, and they can't form their own opinions, they can't think for themselves, then this is going to become a law. Because there are already laws like this that are starting in the past, which are just so stupid. Like, I just don't understand. I, I genuinely don't. Like, there, there's just dumb laws that's going to be happening. And if anybody's gullible at this point, which, I, well, I'm never going to be gullible. If I were to go be that gullible, I wouldn't be able to think for myself. I wouldn't even be a YouTuber because I would be like, Oh my, wow, did you just say wow? Oh, did you, did you just call him a simp? Oh, <gasps> bant. Bant, like, I'm gonna be like twitch.tv, dude. I'm gonna ban anybody for saying the word simp. No, I'm not gonna lie, if I, if I were to actually stream on Twitch, like, I, I would legit only say simp the entire stream. I'd say, like, every five seconds. <laughs> 
Oh man, that would be funny. But um, for real though, this video is just to let you know that um, why, why, why are people like this? Like I'm genuinely curious. Like if you guys know, and this is a story time because this genuinely did happen. And I just don't know why. And by the way, reading that out loud and just going over it and not even skimming through it, like being thorough with it, it is so cringe to see that type of stuff. And I don't even like to use that word because that word in, in, in and of itself is cringe. But it's just so stupid, the things that people will believe. I, they'll believe that there's a spaghetti monster. Like, what the heck? It's just really dumb, and I don't know why. I, I really don't know why. And I'm not talking about religion. I'm not talking about anything like that when I'm talking about believing. I'm talking about when people believe stuff that is so blatantly false. And it's it's just dumb. It, it just really is. I just can't understand some people. Never will. Do I want to understand them? No. <laughs> because even if I tried to understand them, they would say, oh, you are a male pig, so you can't understand me. Yeah. It's like the same people who believe this are the same exact people who fake, their, their, fake that they're depressed when they haven't been depressed in their life, and they act really cringe about it, honestly. And it's just, it's just stupid. And I'm not saying people can't get depressed and people haven't been. But the people who fake it and then they act like they are, are the same people that think that there are more than two genders. I just can't understand people. I never will. And I don't want to see from this point of view because it's just so stupid and idiotic. And that's it for today's video. And if you watch this far, I guess this is just me saying that I can't understand people. And do I want to understand them? No, because if I understand, try to under quote-unquote understand them then I'll be as dumb as they are and I don't want to stoop on their level so yeah I, I just don't understand people honestly and um, anyways now that we're getting to the end of this video I won't be having a story time for my next video but it will be kind of like this type of format I'm talking about idiotic things and I want to talk about idiotic people and I really don't judge people, but in the next video, whoo, I will get harsh on them. But um, on that note, I know this is just a story time and whatnot, but um, I'm going to foreshadow another video that's coming up, and it is going to be cancel culture. And I'll get into that in the next one, but anyways, as usual, have yourselves a damn good one as always, and peace out, and have yourselves a lovely day if you watch this far. So. Let's get straight into these sledding stories. So now sledding is like the best part of the December and not only like the other stuff too, like hot chocolate and you know, just being able to go inside from it being cold. I, I don't know, it's just pretty nice to me. But uh, yeah, so in this video, I'm gonna be talking about sledding in particular though, because sledding is amazing. Like I remember this one time when I was like really, really young and we went sledding right and then it was like the sled was strapped to the back of the the car we just went sledding like that and it was so fast because you know it was strapped to the back of the car and we would go at an insane speed and, ex and especially when we went over bumps that was the crazy part with the sled so yeah th those are some fond memories i have of going sledding but i want to talk about something a little bit recent that isn't really vague in my memory so this one time i went sledding with me and my really close friend and we went down this hill dude i and i swear this hill was like so ginormous it was on like a whole nother level but we went down this hill and gosh dang it was just crazy because like we went down it and we were going like what felt like 100 miles per hour because that's how fast it was yeah it was just crazy overall like just sliding and whatnot and sure we definitely got frostbite for sure like there's no doubt about it when you have terrible gloves that's going in the snow when you know the gloves are not even meant for the snow they're more or less 
not even gloves at that point. They're like gloves for the summer. Like that's the only time that they'll be really effective to be honest. But uh, we were sledding and it was just a good time overall. And yeah, once we were sledding though, yeah, I have like really intricate memories when it comes to sledding. And when we did go sledding, it was actually quite crazy because, you know, we we just went crazy when we were sledding, to be honest. And this one time, actually, I was, like, so worried because uh, we were on the sled and we were going down. And then there was this tree, right? And we just, like, crashed straight into it. And it was just awful. Because, you know, we were hurting for a little bit. But, you know, we got back up. We just kept sledding because, you know, it's so fun. But um, sometimes, though, sledding can't really last that long because, you know, frostbite and whatnot. But sometimes, though, you don't really care about the frostbite. You're just like, you know what? Let's do this. And, yeah, it's just actually quite crazy. And what's also crazy is that it's already December. Like, I, I'm surprised about that. Again, you know, if you're watching this at a different time. You know, what they effect. And, yeah, honestly, just sledding is actually amazing. So, you know, that's mainly it for today's video. It was just me talking about sledding. And, honestly, I just have really fun memories. And it was, like, really fun going sledding. And, hopefully, we can do that this year. But, from the look of things, it's a may not tap. Because there has been no snow yet. But, um, I'm probably just impatient but you know i kind of want snow like now to be honest <laughs> but you know can't really have s snow at all times but you know hopefully we can have it soon anyways that's mainly for today's video and as usual have yourselves a damn good one as always and before i go i would like to say that sledding that hopefully i get a sled this year and also the best part after sledding is you know hot chocolate just to you know make it that much better because you know after it's really cold outside you get that hot chocolate and mm -mm, you're on that like white on rice dude uh but yeah that's mainly for today's video mainly just because you know the song that's going to be in the video because i want you guys to hear that real quick and also the reason why i did show you guys the Vera union was because it's really rare that there's many new rock bands because from what I know, mainly just be based off like how good they are, uh, there's not really that good rock bands, to be honest, when it comes down to the things. And I mean like, by not really good, I mean like there's not really that many. Like there's like a few that are like pretty good. But there's just one band in particular that I absolutely despise. And I'm not going to say the band because, you know, show a little respect because i will be using one of their songs in a montage but that's mainly it, just one because any more that's just that's just a no but so yeah i just wanted to talk about that band again and to why it's in today's video and it's also because you know i'll show off new rock bands because it's really rare that there's any new rock bands especially good rock bands so that's mainly it for today's video oh and in today's video we got Xbox Live Gold back, so that's just a little update. But now that we got that out of the way, let's talk about this girl. The girl who my chances were diminished with because, um, yeah, it just didn't end up well, unfortunately. And it's also because I never took my shot. I, I, The moral of this story, you know, I'm just going to get out of the way since it started. You know, take your shot. Like... The worst she's going to do is say no. You know what I'm saying? So, that's just some advice. Um, even if it doesn't work out, it's like, okay, there's plenty of other girls in the sea. Um, not literally. Don't, don't go to a sea and start looking for girls. If you do that, it's just really weird. <laughs> like, well, let's find these fish. But, um, yeah, let's, let's get into this a little bit seriously now. Um, so, this girl, I'm going to call her... Ava, so that's what I'll call her. So me and Ava, we don't, we didn't really talk much or at all. Um, I will have another story too with her because it's actually kind of funny. I'll like switch her name in that video too. But um, so 
Ava, she was just like a girl in my class like a few years ago. Like I would say like a bit more than a few years, but um, just because of how long it's been. But anyway, so me and Ava like never really talked. We were just in like, you know, this one class together, mainly just English. And then that was mainly it for like, like that was the closest class that we've ever been in because you know, just of how long the class was. It was like a year class. But um, anyway, so that's not the moral of the story is like, you know, the class. Yeah, anyway, so we had the class and whatnot, but let's do a little time skip for right now, as I did in the previous video. Um, so it comes to this one day with me and Bob. Me and Bob are talking about it, and I'm telling him about this girl who's my crush, who is Ava in the story. And that I like, you know, I really liked her and I told him about, well, actually, I probably didn't tell him that, but I told him that I told him about the flag football story. And let's get into that. So when we were doing like flag football, I don't know what was up with her that day because she was probably just weird or something. I don't know. Sometimes, you know, as humans, we have our off days, I guess. But uh, so... I was like blocking her passageway to where she was trying to go because you know she's probably trying to score a point but you know I took her flag and um, once I took her flag uh, before before that even happened once we collided she made the loudest moan that I've ever heard in my life and I'm like what the heck <laughs> but, but like I was just in awe I was like what, what was that about but anyways I took her flag and then after that I was just thinking about it and then she got like really flustered because you know probably just because you know her flag got taken um either that or the others the moan part but um, <laughs> well i thought it was funny like thinking about it now but um oh my friend bob didn't really think it was that funny as a matter of fact he messaged her and uh he told her about the very story it's like hey you know this <clears throat> person and um told her about the whole story and whatnot and yeah i'm pretty sure you know where this is going he told her about the story and yeah on my end it was my bad that the story even got said because you know my friend was like peer pressuring me like oh you're a man right you're not gonna really be mad if i send her this message about the story like throwing that in my face and then you know it ends up actually doing it i thought he was joking but um sometimes you gotta take some stuff seriously or else you know some stuff's gonna get said but um that was mainly it. it was just you know just a story that was it you know flag football he told her about that but that was not the problem the problem was me actually because I never went up to her, I never talked to her and whatnot, because I was shy as crap. This girl was, like, on a whole nother level. I, I'm not even kidding. Now, I don't truly think that, you know, with people, like, you know, girls, saying, like, on a whole nother level, you know what I mean, like, out of your league, because that doesn't really exist, you know what I mean? Um, it's just about your confidence, but I guess I would say my confidence back then was, <clears throat> it was diminished, it was gone, far gone. And, um, yeah, so this girl, I, dude, I never talked to her. I am not even kidding. She didn't even talk to me about it. She just avoided me. I was like, okay, that's, that's all swell and whatnot. And, um, yeah, that was basically it. And then time skip again to, uh, when we have, we had an exact class together. I didn't talk to her at all. Like, I don't think you understand. For me, I was just like silent. I was silent but um yeah anyway so i was just you know silent and didn't really talk to her i just still looking back on it i could have opened up and i could have talked about it and was like you know it was just a stupid story that was it and you know could have definitely have done a lot better things you know what i'm saying and i could have actually you know i could have became close with her you know what i'm saying and um could have quote unquote small talk as I said in the in the last uh, story time. Um, if you haven't seen that, we could check that out now. But uh, <laughs> yeah, it just didn't really go well. I didn't talk to her. At all. I, I I strayed away from her. I'm 
I'm not even kidding. Like, on a whole nother level, I was just, you know, I just avoided her. But it was just because I was really nervous. I, I've i never been so nervous around a girl in my life. But at the same time, I could have definitely have handled it better. I could have been a lot more authentic is the word. or uh, Because all of the... The problem was trivial, so, you know, I could easily have, you know, taken my shot, you know what I'm saying? And not only just taking my shot, but, you know, I could have been smarter about it. And that's mainly, mainly the moral of the story is, see a girl who you like a lot, <laughs> you should go take your shot. Like, I, I really did like this girl so much, but at the same time, for some reason, my knees were weak, my palms were sweaty. If you see someone like that, you know, take your shot with them. And, yeah, that's that's mainly it. Honestly, there's not really a crazy ending like the last one, you know. Um, or it's not really that crazy of a story. But, how, however, my chances with this girl were diminished because of what my friend did at the time. And my actions as well for, you know, not going up to her, taking my shot, not doing it, anything like that. So... It was a bit of both, but for the most part, it was mainly me because, you know, I could have easily have just came up with a solution like that. And me and that dude, we're not friends anymore, obviously, not because of that, not because of that scenario, but because of other reasons, because of the path he took in life. So, you know, once he took that path, I'm like, you know what, chief, I ain't having it. Yeah, I could elaborate upon it, but I'm just not going to do that. I'll just leave it at that, to be honest. Yeah, that's mainly it for the story. I know it was rather short and it wasn't really much to say, but this story was just, you know, I'm just getting all of the awkward stories out of the way real quick. But um, I felt like talking about the story because I was thinking about this during my run today because, you know, I was going for a run. And I, I don't know what it is, but sometimes when I run, like, I could just completely zone out. But yeah, I thought about this during my run, so I thought I'd make a video on this because, you know, it was pretty funny, actually. Uh, looking back on it and there's so much stuff that you can reflect on and like what you did wrong so you know it's just being human you know you gotta reflect on your mistakes you gotta you know do better in other words just learn from your mistake i wouldn't just have a arrogant or e egotistical mindset that you know you're oh man you're gonna be on that every day yeah oh yes and you're not gonna make any mistakes because being a human you make a lot of mistakes so uh, and this is definitely one of them but um anyways until next time as usual have yourselves a damn good one as always and peace out and to wrap this up i will not be making the same mistake as i did then so anyways peace out Hey guys, what is up? Zane here and welcome to another video and in today's video I will be talking about nostalgia and the reason why I'm talking about nostalgia for this video is because I just got reminiscent of memories and to fight memories. I mean, I literally went on Black Ops 2 not too long ago and there were just so many people in the game and then they were just all cursing and I was like just, you know, I just had game chat but I just didn't have my mic plugged in, I was just vibing. And I just heard everybody cursing at each other. It was the funniest thing. I'm like, oh man, does it bring back the days? So, if you guys don't know, the gameplay should be a little bit reminiscent, you know what I'm saying? Of, you know, just sniping, warming up with your sniper, you know, what some people did. But, um, yeah, the reason why I'm talking about nostalgia is so I will be talking about this one dude who I was really close with, but I'm not really close with anymore because, you know, he just moved. Honestly, you ever just grow distant with someone and then you just don't talk to them anymore? That, that kind of just happens. So I know that doesn't happen with everyone, but you know, some people that does happen with, and me and this dude were really close. We would click really, really hard on stuff. But um, unfortunately, you know, he moved and now we don't talk anymore. But me and this dude used to listen to this one song. It was this one zombie song we used to listen to all the time. And this zombie song that we listened to, it was on the Wii. So, like, literally the first Nintendo Wii, that's all we would listen to it on. Because that's all I had at the time. But then I got a 360, and then that's how I got into zombies. And that was the beginning of it. In my first Call of Duty, if I'm not mistaken, it was Black Ops 2, actually. And that was my, like, genuine first COD. It was Black Ops 2. Yeah, that, that was genu genuinely it. probably did play a COD before that. 
but like my first actual COD I'm playing was for sure Black Ops 2, like no doubt in my mind. But anyway, so we played Black Ops 2, we were just vibing and whatnot, and this is when I got it, so it was like a little Christmas gift, but it was years, years ago. Like I, when I say years, I am not even fabricating it, it's just that long ago. But um, we went over it, you know, we played Call of Duty Black Ops 2, we were just vibing, and I'm gonna go back a little bit more before that because I'm just saying that this is when I, or like my first COD I got into, just in case if you guys are wondering, it was actually Black Ops 2. So, that is the finale for that, that is just letting you guys know. But anyways, we're gonna go a bit back in time. So me and this dude, it was his birthday, we were just vibing, and I went to his birthday and he, he was a big fan of WWE. and. Me and this dude used to talk all the time. And honestly, I'm just going to say his name now. It was Brady Codwell. Me and this dude used to hang out all the time. And the reason why I'm saying this is because ain't no one going to find this dude. I don't even know what this dude looks like nowadays. I, I genuinely couldn't tell you. I really couldn't. But this dude was he was passionate about a sport. Because I don't want to say too much about him. Because, you know, I don't want like people to actually find him. You know what I'm saying? But, like, that that's really it. I was passionate about a, a sport at the time, and dude, he would defend me. He's really a friend, honestly. He was a friend to me, and not a friend enemy, but he was like a friend to me. And me and him were we just clicked, honestly. And we used to talk about Call of Duty all the time. Like we would talk about transit, we would talk about everything about it, and just like of how great of a map it is, and like we were just talk about you know just playing transit when we got home because zombies was so amazing back then and it still is except for you know cold war for right now honestly i will be having a video here soon on how they can fix onslaught and everything they can do to fix it and if they don't do this onslaught will remain as the worst game mode and i'm not nitpicking i am being for real when i make that video so that no this is a story time it's a separate video but when I'm saying this and I'm bringing up zombies, I'm I'm keeping it real. I'm keeping it straight with you, okay? All right. I didn't mean to get off topic, but let's get back to it. So me and this dude used to talk all the time. We would click, like I'm not even kidding. Me and him would talk about trains at all the time. We would talk about zombies, and we would even talk about this nuke town map. And like I thought, round 20 was impressive at the time. Little did I know I would get amazing at zombies. I'm not even gonna lie. Like 20 back then was like the, it was truly just a pinnacle. It was like, how the heck did he get that high? Or like 25, 25 was a vague concept for me or even 30. I've never even seen 30 when I was younger. But to, now that I've gotten more better of a zombies player and I can actually like traverse the maps easier and you know, just experience from other CODs and just, you know, skill, honestly. Like, Zombies is so skill-based, which is why it's my favorite game. There's no RNG in it or anything. Unless you're doing a speedrun and whatnot, then it may require RNG. <laughs> Trying to get that Ray Gun or Thunder Gun, you know what I'm saying? But, um, all jokes aside, though, me and this dude clicked so hard. And then, me and him, you know, he just liked WWE. Me and him would click. I remember this one time in particular. We played Black Ops 1, and then George Romero was there, and... Man, it was just a pleasant sight, you know. You're trying to kill George Romero. That didn't go well. Probably didn't get round 10, but we just kept trying. And that's the thing about zombies that I've always loved. And this is a true props to Treyarch. Now, this isn't to make him arrogant because, you know, I don't want anybody at Treyarch to be arrogant. Because once you get arrogant in something and you truly get arrogant, it's just going to make your games worse. And honestly, that's the... If I'm gonna be real, seeing from uh, one of David Vaughn's tweets, if he was arrogant during Black Ops 4, I wouldn't be surprised if the cycle continues, you know what I'm saying? But, um, or if people at Treyarch are arrogant, which is something that you don't want them to be. Now, I get it, sometimes you do have to be arrogant, you know, starting off, but once you, well, not starting off, but like sometimes you're arrogant, but. If that like consumes you and you truly believe that and then you become egotistical and narcissistic then it's just not a good idea well it's not 
it's not good for you and it's not going to help you grow and that's what prevents you from growing as a person and making great games and whatnot and i'm just being real with you if anybody's trying to be a game developer or trying to do anything that they're passionate about you're arrogant you're not gonna get anywhere you gotta you gotta be humble all right <laughs> but um well i would stick to your beliefs of course and whatnot but um Anyways, I got so off topic. <laughs> I feel like I was just talking about that. Then I got there again. I don't know the words. But um, honestly, though, the reason why I'm bringing this up is because I have not even talked to this dude in years. And I still can't talk to him. I don't even know what his gamer tag is anymore, honestly. But uh, me and this dude clicked really hard. And I'm just bringing this up for nostalgia. And we literally listen to this song all the time. And if you guys don't know what it is, I will... Give the name of it, it is never forgotten. You guys don't know that song? That song clicks with me so hard. And the reason was because that was that was a song for me right there. Like, never forgotten because it's like literally represents me for zombies. You know, just say you die in round five and you're like, oh gosh, I could definitely do better. And then you do better and then it's, it's just amazing. Like, seeing how far you can get and how far you can push high rounds. And what's crazy is that's still how Call of Duty is today. If anybody's like, oh no, it's actually about beating reset. But you tell me you you need to hit reset in Black Ops 3? I don't think so. And neither in Black Ops 2 as well because you don't really have to worry about that because no one really has pushed the rounds that far. And same with Black Ops 1. I'm talking more or less co-op. I would say solo, kind of. Maybe. I, I don't really know for all the maps, but definitely a few. But um, anyways, this video is about nostalgia. And I have rambled on long enough, and I hinted at Lancelot a lot and how they can fix it. Because I am truly going to be giving points, like literal fair points. I'm not going to be saying anything dumb or anything that sounds rambunctious or doesn't make sense. Like, I am giving fair points, and even if you may not agree with them, this will literally fix the game. And I will even give points towards the machine as well. And what needs to be fixed and I'm speaking only on co-op when I say D machine because they do need to fix the megaton and it's just like how much spawn but I'll, I'll get into that in a separate video I shouldn't have even brought it up because that has nothing to do with this video but anyways I've rambled on long enough and until next time as usual have yourselves a damn good one as always and peace out and be ready for another story time this video is just about nostalgia and you know just getting cursed in an xbox live lobby and yeah it's just nostalgia like just all the words they would say and the moral of this story is don't dwell on the past because smile because it happened you know what i'm saying and you know you can learn from stuff but there is one thing i do have to say and since i'm bringing out the past in this video just because something has happened to you in your past it does not affect your future now i can understand like like you know say you didn't get raised right and then certain stuff happened like you're not as intelligent as you could have been because of those circumstances now that's reasonable but if you're telling me like you did drugs and all this and you like literally got into drugs you started smoking you started doing all this like you started committing crimes that is because it was your choice to do that and if you th blame life for that, you're truly mistaken. And it's also based off, you know, the people who you hang around because that really will influence the kind of person you will become. Like you hang around millionaires, you're going to become a millionaire. So that's the moral of the story. And yeah, that's really it for today's video. I honestly just wanted to say that for the moral of the story because honestly, there are some people who do believe that and people who just don't have fair points and you know try to dis disprove me but um okay now i'm getting a little too personal I, I don't even know i'm just so tired right now i i don't know why but for some reason i have like an addiction to film these videos when i'm so tired okay I, it's not an addiction it's just i'm, I'm bad with timing but uh, all jokes aside until until next time you know the drill peace out Hey guys, what is up, Zane here, and welcome to another video, and in today's video, I will be talking about my best day. So, before I get into this, I want to say the moral of the story for the sledding video, 
So the moral of the story in that video is just, you know, just wear gloves. That's that's really it, because if you don't wear gloves, you're going to get bad frostbite, and it's just not worth it in the end. For the dress video, I would say is, you know, just don't get caught looking. But uh, the moral of the story for this video is going to be, hold on. That's going to be the moral of the story for this video. And I'm just getting it out of the way because I've been forgetting to do it in my other videos, so just to do it in this one so you're welcome anyways let's get straight into this so this morning like not literally this morning but like this morning I just felt terrible honestly I just didn't feel like living anymore I just hated my life I'm not even gonna lie I just didn't want to do anything and anyways so I'm heading to school right and once I'm heading into school, I go into English, and I'm just thinking that it's going to be another bad day. And the reason why I'm thinking this type of stuff is because, you know, I was in a really dark place at that time. I just didn't want to live. I honestly just didn't care about my life anymore. And that's why the moral of the story for this video is to hold on. And if there's anyone going through anything like that, call 1-800-273-8255 uh, or whatever suicide prevention hotline in your area but that's the main one in America so I'm just saying that now anyway so I felt like crap I just didn't want to live anymore and honestly I felt hollow inside and I just as I said I just didn't want to live it's as simple as that but even though I didn't this was the best English class that I've ever had before I got into that class with that one girl like who was my crush and I was in that class this is before that so this is a little you know a little back in time type of thing so anyways I go into the class and we start doing short stories that's what we mainly start doing for English and we were just doing these little short stories about Christmas and what we will be doing for Christmas and I write down a little short story and I thought it was funny, the thing I did, and, and in all honesty. Or it was actually, like, kind of serious, I'm pretty sure. It was just, like, focusing on the Christmas tree. I don't remember what it was exactly because my memory is kind of vague. And I just can't remember anything from back then. But um, I remember this time in particular was everyone who was a male, and then there was, like, one female in the classroom, wrote a story about me. And it's, like, to why, like they were holding on in life and it's just like really emotional and I was like in tears after that because like everyone who, who was in there wrote a story about me and it was just it made my day and before anyone says oh like the teacher had them do that there's there's no way the teacher would be in as shock as she was okay I'm gonna be honest there's no way <laughs> there's just no way Jose there's just no way but um anyway so there were these little stories that they did, and it's kind of quirky, to be honest. A bit, eh. <laughs> a bit cringe, but um, they were funny, to say the least. And it was just... It, it just really made my day. It honestly did. And these stories, alongside the main reason why I was holding on, was Desmond Daniel Mofa. And... Yeah, it was just a great day overall, and it made me realize that, like, you know, even if you think that no one cares about you, the truth is, people do care about you, and you may think that the world is going to be better off without you, but that's not the truth, because you're here for a reason, and that's why you breathe every day, because, you know, you're still here for a reason, you're still fighting for something, you still want to achieve your dreams your goals whatever that may be or you're just here to support another person whatever goal you have in life whatever dream you have you can definitely achieve it now definitely there's gonna be failure for sure but without failure there's no way that you're gonna grow as a person and you're gonna be able to achieve your goals and your dreams so you have to fail in order to succeed it's like a stepping stone anyways so a little bit back about the story and like i was just in shock because like everyone literally wrote a story about me and it was at least having me in it and they were all kind of funny to be honest 
as I did say. But, um, as I said, it just made my day. And that day in particular, though, I was at my lowest of all lows that I've ever been. And it's just because, you know, when you're, when you're depressed, you think that everything's terrible. The, your walls are closing in. You don't want to live anymore. And the only thing you think about day by day is, when can I leave this earth? When can, how can I kill myself? How can, how can I escape? When, when is this ever going to end? When is this pain going to end? When is this cycle going to end? But, all of that was not true. It was all temporary. That pain you may be feeling now, and if you are still feeling that kind of pain, you think that it's the worst thing in the world, well, guess what? You're going to get over it. And then there was this one... Actually, I'm going to have a little extra story time, I guess, because why not? There was this one dude who... Um, he was in my speech class, right? And I'm just calling him out because he was speaking ignorance. Like, seriously, he was speaking the most ignorant stuff in the world, dude. <laughs> um, there may be girls watching my my video so you know I'm sorry about that but um, this dude said word for word that like you're wrong it's not ever gonna get better it's only gonna be worse well that thinking is wrong and that's ignorant thinking and you don't know honestly somebody could be suffering way more than you are right now and what you could have your problem may be trivial and you may think it's really serious, but if you hear other people's problems, you're like, wait a minute, that's that's actually a lot worse than mine. You know? You have people who are literally starving and just literally can't move. People who are paralyzed. People who have all of these things negative towards them, but they still manage to go. And then you have you just having this problem, that, which is so trivial that you can easily get over, but you're stumped by it. Showing how much stronger they are than you when they're weaker. So, you know, that's the way you can look at it however you want to look at it. Just saying that, like, you know, it's it's always going to be worse. It's never going to get better. That's just ignorant thinking, and you need to grow up because that's, as I said, it's just, it's just the wrong mindset. And it's how you are going to tear yourself down trying to build yourself. So, anyways, I've rambled on long enough. This video was about my best day, and right after this too, we started making gingerbread houses, which was nice because, you know, I bet mean, no, one, no one did that in their English class. <laughs> this English class was epic, dude. I'm not even going to lie. We had so much cool stuff in there, and I was even a teacher for a day, so yeah, that, that was a great time. And I'll have that for another story time because, you know, I don't want to take up too much time, and I don't want this video to be 20 minutes long. But, uh... Yeah, this English class was amazing, though, honestly. It was just amazing and always because, you know, my terrible day would be brought to an amazing day. Because, like, I had the worst issues at the time, at least from what I thought. And, you know, it's just on and off of just feeling empty and just feeling I couldn't make a change, which I know now to be so wrong. The me then and me now is just completely different and that may sound like corny and that may sound like I don't even know what I'm talking about, but you'd be surprised on how much I've changed as a person. Just going from somebody who just hated life, hated seeing people, hated just being myself, hated being anything to the person I am today and being able to stand up for what I believe in and being able to fight for what I believe in and just never giving up. No matter what. So. Anyways. I've rambled on long enough. I hope you guys did enjoy. And I've had fun making this video. The moral of the story in this video is going to be. A. Don't give up. And you know the first moral of the story at the beginning. And B. Keep fighting. So like don't give up. Keep fighting. And C. The one at the beginning was. Hold on. Because if you think that your life is as terrible as it is and you think it's going to be worse for the rest of your life that's not true because you have you literally have the power to change your mood so whatever you're feeling you may feel terrible well you can change that and 
a blink of an eye. So you have control over your life. Either you like to admit it or not. You may not admit it, but you know it's the truth. Regardless of however you feel. You literally have your light cut off, but you can literally feel amazing because, you know, it's just the way you think. Like, if you think it's going to be negative, like, say if you, it's before a test, right? And you think you're going to do bad on the test. Well, guess what? You are. You are going to do bad because you're wishing for the worst outcome. But if you think you're going to do good, you're going to do great. You may not do the best in the world, of course, but, like, have that positive mindset going into things. It's not really as bad as you previously have thought and that's the way i want to end this video and with that being said guys thank you once again for tuning in and i will talk to you all in the next video take care of yourselves and of course as usual please have yourself a damn good one good night guys i'm getting me some sleep